Hello, everybody. How lovely to have you back with us. I'm Richard Osman. Welcome along to a brand new week on House of Games with four brand new contestants. Shall we meet them? One of them we know is winning the trophy. Who is it going to be? It'll be one of these four. They are Tucson Douglas, <laughs> Cherie Murphy, Sean Williams, and Mark Foster. Hello. Hello, one. Hello, all. Tucson, lovely to have you here. Thanks for having me. Stand-ups traditionally do very well on this show. How is your quizzing? Well, I mean, I'm sitting down for a start, so I'm already at a disadvantage. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If don't, don't let the suit fool you. This is just camouflage, you know? I'm, like, um, <laughs> I'm, not very, I'm not very good at quizzing. You're, you're not at into, that suit is very cool. Thank you, thank it's you. Very thank sort you. of 1978 Reggie Perrin. Have a look. <laughs> I like Tucson's got that. Who on earth is Reggie yeah, Perrin? Yeah, exactly. I'm just into the fashion, man. I'm not into the history. <laughs> just, exactly. we, we will get on to who Reggie Perrin is later in the week. Uh, Sharia, you're a quizzer. I love quiz shows. I love watching them, but I'm not very good at them. Excellent. So, That's absolutely yeah. perfect. Well, being on this show, I think, is most like watching a quiz show of any quiz show you can come on, because okay. you do you get to be a spectator to an awful lot of quizzing across <laughs> the week. Sean. Yes. Absolute dream to have you on the show. Welcome oh, along. Oh, thank you. Now, Lovely listen, to be at the here. end of the week, someone's winning a trophy. Yeah. Okay. okay. But at the end of each day, there's also a daily prize. There okay. Is. Would you like to take a look at today's daily prize? I'd love to take a look at today's daily Excellent. prize. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Faked or otherwise? No, it's, I don't all, mind. it's all good. I'll it's take all there. It. Here are your prizes. You could win the sliders, the toolbox, the House of Games chopping board, the pasta machine, or the fingerless pleather gloves. What do we think? I'm I'm liking that toolbox. Yes. <laughs> I don't I don't think the toolbox would come out very often. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, nice to have. Nice, but to, nice there. to have, indeed. Mark, of course you're a competitive man. Medalist in all sorts of championships, standing on that start line, looking at everybody else. How do you get yourself into that zone? What's the what's the competitive mindset? Ooh, uh, well, I think it, it helps having swam or been in the water all my life, so being confident, first of all. But I think the, thing, the reason why you train, you train is to obviously then go and do what you're going to do. This is a different matter. I think you either know it or you don't know it. That's true. And looking along there... Is I, he I, trying I, to psych us out? I try to probably already out. mind games, so. isn't it? Already. No, but you look at your competitors and you go, <laughs> I might be in trouble. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, anyone in particular? Tucson. Yeah, yeah, I've got my eye on Tucson. It's got, just because you're wearing a suit. Mark, <laughs> we've, we've <established laughs> it's, like, it's like teacher at school. He's yeah. like the grown-up. He, He's well, the grown-up yeah. in the room. I might have the outward appearance of a learned fellow, but I can, <laughs> I can assure you there's not a lot going on up yeah. there, OK? We, we've established just one thing about Tucson so far, and that is he does not know who Reggie Perrin is, OK? <laughs> it has not been a great start. Mark, which, which of these would you like? Looking at them, obviously, spending a lot of time poolside, I'd go with the sliders. Oh, lovely, sliders, mm. yeah. As long as they come in size... 13? I'm guessing they do. They might. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not sure anyone with the, your size feet has ever won a prize before. You mean you don't have a pair? You don't have a pair of them? I don't have a pair of them. No, I'm, I'm size 14. Yeah, they, I don't think they do them in my size. But we'll see what we can do. Cherie, what would you go for? I think I'd go for the chopping board. I like cooking. So, Lovely. And it'd Perfect. be great to chop away and look at your face. So. Exactly. Or turn it over <laughs> once, once you're bored of it. Uh, Toussaint? Well, uh, my dad's big fan of DIY. Douglas Cena loves DIY, so I think I'll go for the pleatherless gloves. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. OK, I never know what it's going to be. You never know what it's going to be. Shall we just get on and do it? Yeah. Cool. Okay, OK, good luck, one and all. Our first round is... <laughs> Sounds like fingers on buzzers, please. Oh. first thing I'm going to do is give you a category. Your first category is fruit and veg. And I'm going to show you some pictures. You just have to tell me what you see in those pictures, and they'll give you the name of a fruit or veg. That is Cherie. Runner bean. Nice start to the week, Cherie. It is. There's a runner. There's Mr Bean. Good. Runner bean. You see? You see how it works? Next fruit or veg. Yes, Cherie. Pineapple. It is pineapple, well done. Gosh. Chris Pine, a nap. It's going to go downhill from here, I can feel it. <laughs> What's this one, please? Yes, Mark. Pear. Oh, well played. It is pear. Nicely done. Nicely done. We're all getting hooked up on the fact they were sixes. You went straight in there with pear. Well played. Mark, your next category is signs of the zodiac, but which signs?
Tucson. Capricorn. Capricorn? Cap, Rick Edwards and some corn. Well done. Capricorn. Next one. Yes, Tucson. Leo. Leo. Mm. It is. <laughs> Lee Mac, Michelle yeah, Yo. Well done. well done. This is the most I've talked about star signs <laughs> in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Next sign of the zodiac. Yes, Cherie. Pisces. Pisces, it is. Well done. Next category. Acts who have had a number one in the 90s. Sean. Ricky Martin. Well done, it is Rick Mayle, Key, Andrew Marr and a tin. Ricky Martin, everyone off the mark. Next act who had a number one in the 90s. Three. Fat Boy Slim. Fat Boy Slim is right. Ooh. The fat a boy, and Slim Shady. I'm oh, stuck on Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going, love, <laughs> <Yeah>. nurse, <laughs> boy. Yeah. Final question in this round. Sean. Britney Spears. Britney Spears, of course it is. Britt Eklund, a knee, and some Spears. Very well played. Lovely end to the round there for Sean. That's the end of our first round. Should we take a look at our first leaderboard mm -hmm. of the week? A little look at our avatars. Everybody is on the leaderboard, which is good to see. Mark, you have one. Toussaint, you have two, as do you, Sean. Sharif, our first leader. Four points. Well done. Well done. Should we play our first pairs game of the week? OK, time to team up. Our pairs game is going to be... Distinctly average. Mark, you find yourself in fourth place at the turn. Who would you like to play this round with? I'm going to... You're going to stay with Sean. Oh. Yeah. Mark and Sean are a team. Cherie and Tucson are a team. If you would take your tablets out, please. I'll ask you a question. You need to write down a number as your answer, and I'll take the average for each pair as their answer. OK? Have a little go at home as well. Play along. The first question I'd like you to write me down a number for is this. According to the Department for Transport, the mainline railway in Great Britain comprises how many miles of routes? How many miles of rail are there in Great Britain? Huh. <laughs> what do you think at home on this one? Tucson, what's your thinking here? I went for a big number. I, okay. think, I think there's just lots of miles of it's got track number, that we, we don't know about. It's just there. Mystery track. So, yeah, I went for 300,000. 300,000 miles. You're going 300,000. Trying to work out if that's... That's oh. 12 times the circumference of the Earth. That OK. Way. But, uh, listen, who knows? Who knows? You know, there's a lot of branch lines. Can I change that? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Cherie can change it with her answer. So, yes. What have you said? And I went much lower. I went 15,000. 15,000. And it is literally just a guess. That sounds more reasonable. And, we know it's a guess in this round. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you were going, yeah, I actually know this one. There could be a train, <laughs> train spotter here that yeah, might know me. Yes. So your average uh, will be just about six times around the Earth. It will be 157 and a half thousand miles. Sean, where are you on this? I, went, I thought I went quite high before I saw two songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, 40... <laughs> 40,000. But at least you went first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, took one for the, I took one for the team. Yeah, yeah good point. Otherwise, you'd be sitting there at the end going, oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> 40,000 says Sean, yep. Mark, up or down from that? Uh, I might be nowhere near it, but I went 20,000. I went between the two oh. girls. 20,000. So, broad agreement between three of you, slight difference of opinion uh, in seat one there. So, your average is 30,000. We've got 30,000, we've got 157,000. What have you got at home on this one? Let's find out, shall we, how many miles are there and who scored the first point? 9,000 is the answer. 9,000. So the point goes to Sean and Mark. Yay, Hello, well done, Sean. Uh, sorry, Sharif. Oh, well, Sharif, right, you, you were actually the closest individually, but um, unfortunately a 300,000er. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought we liked building railways in this country. Yeah, That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. Oh, we, we talk like a lot it. about it. Yeah. I thought we just we built more. That's yeah. what I thought. We like it not that much. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were great. That's what I thought. Um, here's your next question. How many courts are there at Wimbledon? Ooh. Ooh. 
That's all the championship and practice courts. Mm. Ooh. I've been to Wimbledon, so I have a, I've, I've a better working knowledge of this. Yeah, but did you count answer. the courts? I actually did. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> Good on you. Oh, gosh. Off you go. Not the there practice were, ones, though. There were two and a half million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 300,000 oh, no, guys no, giving their heads up. Uh, what do you reckon at home on this one? This feels, this feels like we could be... Ironically, we could be more in the ballpark yeah. uh, on this one than the previous one. Um, everyone in? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sean, what do you think? Have you been to Wimbledon? I have. Yeah. Um, this is a tough one, I thought, actually. I went 35. I think that's not a million miles from where I would have gone. Uh-huh. 35. All right. Mark, what are you thinking? I thought that this might be... You might be able to correct me. I thought there were 19 courts, uh, and then there must be quite a few practice courts, obviously, for warming up before they go and play. I went, similar to Sean, 43. Oh, 43. Yeah. yeah, I think there's 18 or 19 courts that they actually play on, aren't there? Something yeah. like that. 43, you're saying. So your average... Is 39, 39 courts. Yeah. Tucson, what are you thinking? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I knew there was, like... I thought there were, like, 14 courts, because there's, like, okay. a few outside courts. And then... Because it's not very big, though, Wimbledon. No. So I didn't think there were that many practice courts. Uh -huh. So I thought, oh, maybe there's, like, two. So I, I went with 16. You might be right, though. It could be. Because you're right. Yeah, I don't know where the practice be. courts would be. Yeah. yeah. I don't know either. Yeah, Cherie, up or down? Well, I've never been to Wimbledon, um, but I again, I thought it can't be that big, so I've gone twenty-three. Twenty-three. A bit of a random number, yeah, but interesting. Lucky number. Good though. Random numbers often mm. work. So your average is nineteen and a half. So nineteen tennis courts and a squash court. What do you reckon at home? Let's find out, shall we? How many courts are there? Who scored the point? Forty-six. Ooh. There are forty-six. Well. Mark, you were super close. Yeah, 18 championship courts and the rest well done, are, uh, are all practice courts. Very well done if you got that at home, 46. One final question in this round. Mm -hmm. So far, it's 2 0 to Sean and Mark. Can they do a clean sweep here? Oh, that's the sort of question I love. I love that yeah. question. Because <laughs> I really want to know the answer. <laughs> How many bungalows are there in England and Wales? How many bungalows that's are there? Such a good question. Didn't think you'd be answering that this morning, Tucson, did you? <laughs> no. I didn't. no. That's why it's quite hard to revise for this show, I think. Mm. How many bungalows are there? Settle on a number at home now. Um, Cherie, what, what are your thoughts here? Um, I don't know if I've gone high enough, actually, um, but I've gone for 1.6 million. 1.6 mm -hmm. million? I think it might be quite a lot be. higher. Tucson, what are you saying? I was in the same ballpark, yeah. I was trying to figure out how many people were in the country, and then, so I went a bit of over a million as well. 1,092,354, <laughs> is that? Yeah, I thought I'd yeah. go specific. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, good. It's going to look so good if that's bang on. <laughs> yeah. It's going to look amazing. Your average is 1.34 million. Sean, are you in the millions? I am. I know I've overestimated oh, here. Wow. I'm really sorry. That's a high number, isn't it? That does Ooh. feel like quite a lot. But don't forget, we don't all live in, like, an individual house. Sometimes more than one person lives in a house, so that might be only about 20 million houses yeah, in the whole country. Yeah, can I just take the... Can I just...? No. OK. <laughs> minutes, but OK, but Mark might have saved you with a, no. with a, with, with, with a minus. I've let you down. I'm going to have to do... Uh, I'd, I'd saved her a bit. I've gone 477,888. Okay. So your average is <laughs> 10 million. Someone just told me in my ear, guess how many properties in all there are in England and Wales? I think it would be surprised it's going to be something like 4 million. 26 million. Oh, there's 26? 26 million. You're going to hope, Sean, that an awful lot of those are bungalows. Mm. Come on, Sean. And let's find out how many bungalows are there in England and Wales. 2.468 oh, million. Oh, I let you Very down. Good. No, good well done, Sean. Well. Tucson. You get yourself the last point of the round. Tablets away, please, everybody. That's the end of Distinctly Average and the beginning of our next leaderboard. That's what we like to see. Two points between the lot of you, but Cherie stood out in the lead oh, with five well points. Done. That's lovely and close, though, isn't it? Three rounds to go. Still no idea who's going to win our first prize on this week's House of Games. Our next round is... Two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, please. The first thing I will do is give you a category. US sitcoms. I'm going to show you a clue to a US sitcom. OK, but we call it two clues in one because that clue also has the same initials as the answer. OK, so it'll be a clue to the sitcom, but it will also have the same initials 
as the answer. Which US sitcom is this, please? True geriatric glamour. Yes, Sean. The Gilmore Girls? It's not, I'm afraid. Oh. It is not, Toussaint. The Golden Girls? The Golden Girls oh. is what we're looking for. <laughs> geriatric there. Unlucky Sean, well played, Toussaint. Nicely stolen. Next US sitcom. Celebration. Yes, Sean. Cheers. That's better, isn't it? Well done. <laughs> Cheers. Next one. Pawnee's Absurd Regulators. Yes, that's Tucson. Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. Your next category is Classic Cluedo Characters. <laughs> Magnetic Seductress. Yes, Sean. Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet. It is. Well done. Dear Sean likes an initial. <laughs> 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 Messed up on the bungalows. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with exactly. this Exactly. <laughs> Next one. Religious geezer. Mark. Something green. Sorry. Religious? Reginald Green. It's not Reginald Green. It's not Reginald Green, I'm afraid. And as soon as that goes red, you can buzz in. Sean steals it from Tucson. Reverend Green. Oh. Reverend Green. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Religious, nearly. Reg yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that's that's oh. the clue there. Reg Reginald. Reginald Green. because you mentioned Reginald it's... Perry earlier. <laughs> ah, sounds similar, though, doesn't it? Next clue to character. Colonialist mustachioed. Mark. Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard, well done. Yeah, well done. To make up for it. <laughs> Next category, game show hosts, the finest of people. <laughs> Who are these, please? Drops millions. Mark. Davina McCall. Davina McCall, million pound drop, of course. Well done. Next one, Beast Wrangler. Yes, Mark. Bradley Walsh. Bradley Walsh. It is Bradley Walsh. Well done. The Beast being one of the players on the chase. Final question. Compare's mastermind. Oh. Tucson. Clive Myrie. Clive Myrie. That's exactly who it is, Tucson. Well done. Clive Myrie. The round ends there. Three rounds down. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. Look at this. Cherie with five, Mark and Tucson with six. Sean is our new leader with seven points. Oh, tight! That's, I mean, that is close. Two rounds mm. to go before we give away our first prize. Our next round is... Where is Kazakhstan? If you will take your tablets out, please. I'm going to show you a map. Let's take a look at where today's map is. Europe. That's where we are today. And the first thing I would like you to find is the city after which the drink sherry is named. What is the answer to that? And then where is that city? Mm. Mm. What do we reckon at home on this one? Do we know the answer? And then where is that answer? Tucson, do you have any clue on this? Well. Sherry, it feels like an Anglo kind of word, an English word, okay. sherry. So, I don't know, I, I just went with, like, like somewhere island. I don't know why. OK, let's take a look where you are. <laughs> there's no logic. I, don't, I tried to put logic to it, but there's none. Yeah, in Ireland? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, listen, why not? Sherry, <laughs> yes. uh, do you know where Sherry is from? Um, well, I put somewhere in Portugal. Mm. And Doesn't sound I don't crazy. know, cause I, but then I think I've got it confused with... Port, obviously, okay. that's made in Portugal, yeah. but mm. it's not really what you're asking, but anyway. Let's take a look. Yeah, right, <laughs> bang in the middle of Portugal, <laughs> near Lisbon. I think that's not bad thinking. Sean, what are you thinking? The Jerez popped into my mind in Spain, and I don't know why, whether there is a sherry called Jerez. Not sure. Anyway, that's where I think I might have put so it. So you've gone in Spain. And you're in the south of Spain there. Mark, what are you thinking? I thought of France. They obviously make lots and lots of wine. 
Yep. And then I started going towards Eastern Europe. And in the end, I thought, well, if I chuck it kind of near Austria, I'm what covering a... the... Mark, what a journey you've been on. <laughs> I went... I was all over Europe. Haven't you? Well, you've, you've essentially been interrailing. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> looking for sherry. Yeah, looking for sherry. <laughs> Let's see where you are. Yeah, you're bang in the middle of Austria. See, my excuse there. is not very convincing, my, my reasoning. On the Austrian-Switzerland border. Sean, you're quite right, Jerez. In Jerez. Spain is where we get the name Sherry from. Okay. But it, the question is, where in Spain is Jerez? Because yes, I haven't put it. I've put Cherie it in is very close to it as well. Let's take oh. a look, shall we? Where is Jerez and who scored the point? Oh, oh Sean, absolutely bang on. Awesome. How about wow. that. Thank you. Well done. What a corner you've turned since the bungalow answer. <laughs> <laughs> Which has been impeccable. You're going to hang that over me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, 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 you know, as, as Mark will say, it's what you do next that matters. Isn't Absolutely. It? What you do next. Bounce Good. back. Pick yourself Bounce up. Back. The next thing I'd like you to find is this the highest peak in the Black Forest, please. Where is the highest peak in the Black Forest? OK, everyone is in. Settle on something at home. Sheree, what are you thinking here? I have no idea where the Black Forest is. Gotcha. So have you gone bang in the middle or...? Um, so I've gone... Yeah, banks, yeah, sort of bang in the middle. Just Ish. through there. Yeah. Cumbria that way. Oh, OK. Sort of Lake district -y. Yeah. Yeah, could be. Sean, what are you thinking? Well, I remember Schwarzschwald de Kirschtorte. Uh, I think mm. it's Black Forest Cherry Gatto, isn't it? Black Forest Gatto, yeah. Mm. So, uh, Love which a is Black Forest. German. Oh, gosh. Isn't it? Let's so, see where you are. So I've put it in Germany, I think. Well, if it is German, you're laughing, that is Germany. German. But in Cherie's defence, where do you buy Black Forest Gatto? In Iceland, you in England. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. so true. Could, could be right. She's yeah. not out of it yet. It's just you setting us up for the fact that you've gone in Iceland. <laughs> Iceland, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mark, where are you? I was tossing between... I was going between Hungary and Germany. Your logic sounded brilliant, which I'd already locked in Germany beforehand, and I went down okay. towards Munich, down the, down the south of Germany. Gotcha. Yeah. Ooh. Southern Germany. Tucson, did you have any clue on this? I also um, went... What, what I think is Germany, hopefully. Let's see where you are. Oh, you've literally obliterated Sean there. You're in exactly the same place as Sean. Oh, OK. This is the Schwarzwald in um, Germany. But where in Germany is it, is the question. Let's find out who scored a point. Mark has scored the points oh. right down the south of Germany, the Black Forest. Thank you. Final question in this round. We are looking for mm. the site of the Battle of Marathon, which gave its name to the long-distance race. Where was the Battle of Marathon? Gosh. Oh. What answer have you got at home on this one? The Battle of Marathon. Everybody in. Sean, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are Greece, but to my shame, I was sort of... I don't think I put my cross in the right part of Europe. There's a, there's a certain bit of Europe where I think we all start to get a tiny bit lost. Yeah, and truth. that's, that's where see, I've got let, lost. Let's see where you are. Oh, you're in Greece. Hey, that's good. Could have cut out islands. the preamble and you'd have looked great. <laughs> Mark, what are you thinking? Same, Greece. Well, the Maya event was the shortest event. This is the longest event. It, it was, it's Athens. Yeah, same spot. OK, right next to Sean. Tucson, are, you, are okay. you in the same place? So I wanted Greece. That's what I wanted. I don't think I've got Greece. You're sort of a little way away. Croatia, Slovenia. -y. Croatia. Cherie, what was oh, your thinking? Oh, here we go again. I have no idea. Yeah. So I just put somewhere in France. Put somewhere in France? <laughs> <laughs> Just the north of France there. Listen, it is in Greece, uh, the Battle of Marathon and the Marathon, that's where it came from. Which of the two of you is closest, though? Let's take a look. I'm going to give you both a point there. Oh, uh, thank I'm you. I'm not going to split you up. Nice one. Very well played, Sean and Mark. That's the end of the round. One more round to go before we give away our first prize. We know what it's going to be. Okay. That round. Let's take a look at the leaderboard going into it. Cherie, our early leader, still on five. Toussaint, you've got six. One point different. Mark Ooh. on eight, Sean on nine. Ooh. Here we go. It all comes down to a round of... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer. Don't forget, there is a point off if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer. OK? Your first category is... 
Celebrity Big Brother contestants, those will be the pictures. Which actor and comedian was the original presenter of the panel show QI? Yes, Sean. Rylan. I, I, need the, I need the smash, I'm afraid. I'm going to time you out. Oh, I no! I thought you buzzed in quickly. I buzzed too quickly. So, QI, yes, that's two songs. Stephen Fryland. Stephen Fryland. Well done. I'll play two songs. Well Stephen Fry and Ryland. Stephen Fryland. That's a celebrity mashup I'd like to see. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Fry and Ryland. <laughs> Sean, you lose a point. Oh. Two songs, you gain a point. Next clue, next picture. Because of its resemblance to a precious metal, the mineral pyrite is commonly known by what nickname? Yes, Toussaint. Fool's Goldie. Fool's Goldie. Well played. Coming up on the rails. Well played. It is. Fool's Gold and Goldie. And your next category is... Modes of transport will be the pictures. Who plays the title role in the 2022 film Top Gun Maverick? Yes, Mark. Tom Cruise ship. Tom Cruise ship. Said so nice and slowly, I'm sure <laughs> there was no answer about Tom Cruise cruise ship. Next one. What Latin word denotes a piece of evidence that proves a suspect was not at a crime scene? Yes, Sean. Alibike. Alibike. Absolutely right. Alibike, alibicycle. We're taking either. Well done. Whoa, it's close. Next clue, next picture. Which mission was the site of the best-known battle of the Texas War of Independence in 1836? Yes, Mark. A la motorbike. A la motorbike. A la mo and motorbike. It is a la motorbike. I like that you point at me every time you get a question right well. as well. <laughs> Things come in my head and I'm like, that sounds, makes no sense. Uh, any more for any more? <laughs> We're done for the day. Whoa. <gasps> that was close. You were close right at the beginning, Sean. You lost a point. You got some I back, know. Tucson. A few good answers there. Yeah. So we find out our first champion of the week. Our first winner on this week's House of Games is. He's won it by a fingertip, Ooh. Mark Foster. Well, well played, Mark. Well done. Nicely done. Oh, what a win. I'm just, exhausted since only Monday. Just I know. <laughs> just My timing work is done. your charge. Well, these are just the heats. You've got the final to come. Oh. Mark, you've won yourself a prize. Which of these would you like? I, I said the sliders at the beginning, Yeah. but the other half's like cooking, so I'm going to go for the chopping board. Lovely. Mark Foster takes home a House of Games chopping board. Well played, Mark. Let's take a look at our first weekly leaderboard of the week. This will change throughout, but Mark up at the top there with four points. Very, very close, though, everybody. It's going to be a very close week, I think. Shall we do the same thing again tomorrow? Yes, please. It'll be fun. I'll see you all here. We'll see you all here as well on the House of Games. More than my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bungalow size. This is obviously yeah, yeah. not for me and you, Richard. I mean, what can you chop on that? I know. Listen, I know it's for, it's for, it's for smaller people. Absolutely. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> Boom.